In this recording, we're going to see how to import data into SAS from an Excel or a CSV file. So first things first is let's take a quick look as to where is our data. So I have found the folder for ITKM 549. And here I have my customer table, my employee table, so forth. I'm going to go now to my library and I'm going to delete everything. So as I go into my ITKM 549 library, I am going to, now that I know where my files are under ITKM 549, again, this path may be different for students. I know it is. We can do two things. So the reality is that the most, uh, let's just say theoretical way to get to it is with import data. Okay. So I can double click here and I have the import data. So there will be three things and then we execute. First thing is to select a file. Again, I kind of know where my path is, so I'm gonna select the customer T table. I'm gonna click open. So I've selected a file. The next part is that if we take a look, really we're only concerned with this top box over here. This is auto-generated code. But if we see, it's creating a data set called import in our work library. It's also saying get names yes, which, which means the top row of our data has the names of our variables. But I don't want to call this name this data import, and I don't want to put it into my work library. I want to put it into my ITKM 549 library library. That means that if you haven't made your ITKM 549 library library, which I do have. I suggest you watch the video to do this. So first things first is that I want to change my output data. So again, here you can scroll down or you can move the screen, the boxes. So I want to change my output data. Output data is where is it stored and what's the name? So I'm going to choose 549, which is the library. So again, we first selected a file. Now we're changing the library. Now we're changing the name. Now, the data that I am importing is the customer table. It's called customer T. However, I want to call it customer. Oop. There we go. I hit save. And we can see that the auto-generated code has now indicates that it is the ITKM 549 library and the data is going to be called customer. Last but not least, I hit the running man. It has executed. It has 20 observations, 11 variables. Look at your log. Shows no errors, shows no warnings. Let's do this one more time. You can save this procedure. I don't want to save it. So again, I'm going to go to task and utilities. With under utilities, there's import data, double click. So three steps, select your file, give it a library, give it a name. Selecting the file, I am going to get my employee table. I am going to now change the library from the work. I'm going to go to ITKM 549. employee table. I know originally it's called employee T, but I'd rather just call it employee. I see how it changed in the code. More importantly also, or equally importantly, I see that the data set name is employee and the library is ITKM 549. We execute. We're all set. I'm going to show one other way, which is saving you one little step. So again, if we take a look at our data here that we want to import, customer, employee, the next one is the product junction table. If I see this full this file over here, again, I can completely escape from this screen. And then I can just double click here. If I double click, it actually brings in my import procedure. 
I can change now to ITKM549. I'm going to give it the name product junction. And I'm going to hit save. I want to import the products table. Change my library. Execute. And now, last but not least, I have the region office. Change the library. I'm actually just going to call it region. Then I'm going to hit save. I'm sorry, execute. To verify that you've imported your data, just go to your libraries. Customer, employee, product, junction, products, and region. That's all you have to do.